Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, I go by the name of Unfaltered Kitty. And if you're new here, please do the right thing by subscribing to this Unfaltered Femani. Umnandi Apa, Umelindoni, Umeti Igni. What are you waiting for? Do the right thing and become a member to this Unfaltered Femani. And please, don't forget to actually hit that notification bell so whenever I post, you get notified, child. Umnandi Apa. So loves, as you can tell, today we're going to feature the one and only Omis Sims right guys. Like, uh, I've seen her latest videos where she actually uploaded about who, who, when, who's this chick, Utandi Kama, and then she uploaded about who, Kimang Owami, and then again she uploaded about Abuna Lady, Mix XO, and stuff. So I was like, mm, child, nah. You know what? <laughs> I have to make a video actually. I have to make a video about this one right here. So guys, looking at my thumbnail, you can definitely I think some of you actually have a clue good thing about Usim's right guys, like literally. So guys, I've been following oh like I've been subscribed to Usim's right for the longest time, ever since Owami actually promoted her on her channel. So I was like, okay, fine, this chick is she's still new and she's going through a lot and stuff remember she promoted her for i don't know there was a story good see like she moved from the apartment back to a, a, a back room a uh, room and stuff so i was like you know what let me just support the girl so like watching her channel for the longest time i was i felt like oh um awesome rights actually uh kissing uh, i'm a big south african youtubers behind the reason why i'm saying that she's always like when someone comment things like bad things on on big south african youtubers she will always make a video and say good to know guys you're not supposed to do this you're not supposed to do that and for me i feel like she's actually kissing their behind like okay friend maybe she's trying to fit in and be like them and try to befriend them by saying that and doing like like videos are uh, defending them and stuff so that's how i felt for the longest time guys so but mugel recently like you all know like she actually made a video about utandi kama and uri chat guys uh their breakups and unfortunately ulona uh uban Tandy Gama wasn't pleased, Guti. People had to find out that way, Guti. And yeah, I know Richard actually, they broke off, like, their relationship. They actually bro broke up, guys. So, and after that, she actually made this video about Oowami and their Lobola hair paying hello on hair on Lobola. And I felt like, okay, fine, sharp girls. Like, she's now starting to actually create a contact about our South African YouTubers. I never thought good she will actually have the guard to actually do that. But okay, fine. Even on that video, guys, you can definitely say good as in she's defending Oami and stuff. Of which, okay, fine, sharp. You understand good she's the one who actually made her to actually grow on YouTube by actually promoting her YouTube for free, guys. Of which I understand why she's on her side, but but I like recently she actually made a, another video about uh if October like our South African YouTubers who like who've been vlogging and stuff and she said something like I was like okay fine sharp I see you girl I see you Gutiazin you are now changing your own opinion about South African now you're starting to see Ugutiazin when Zagalan Lan in SA one thing about our South African YouTubers uh once they make it on the uh on the big stage guy good as in like i've made it on youtube i'm now getting paid i'm not like having a lot of subscribers they start like not uploading as usual you can definitely say good in my liaba change and they 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 like they tend to forget good as in they have subscribers who actually depend on them by actually creating content and uploading guys like literally because sometimes like when you subscribe to a person you see oh she has the law she's so consistent when it comes to uploading and stuff but like since he like he has like a lot of he or she actually has a lot of subscribers um do change guys like also upload her after three months saying good to no guys i was going through a lot and stuff but like when you started you didn't go through a lot because now man you, you're getting paid a lot of money and you have like 
I don't know even know what to say, guys. But literally, I can, I think you actually get my point. Good see, they start to be a wall on YouTube. Like they forget about us. They now enjoying their money, uh, creating uh, Instagram pictures, buying expensive like expensive, uh, clothes, bags, and shoes and stuff. Forget to go to Yazin. There are people who actually depends on them when it comes to uploading guys like literally south african youtubers when they make it on youtube they tend to forget good see the reason why they actually started this youtube i understand some of them actually started this youtube for money and stuff but like literally there are people who actually like expect you to upload the day you promise them good see, as in, i'm gonna upload on this day guys but anyway that's my own opinion guys i don't know how do you feel about this whole situation but I thought Gutierrez, let me just say because I'm so proud of Gutierrez, like oh seems right she's starting to see things as Tina Suabona because like we all know that me and who's this other girl the Vault channel people tend to say good we are jealous over our YouTube's like sub -king. South African YouTubers, of which is not true, guys, because of we watch a lot of uh American like YouTubers. I believe Nani self you guys actually watch american youtube you can definitely say good as in people who actually have like 27 million subscribers and still upload every day to show good as in this person it doesn't mean good like but like we are hacking friendship between yen and in i'm a subscriber work like definitely guys so i don't know how do you feel about this but i'm so proud of sims right like sims right actually stepping out of her comfort zone and stop pleasing i'm a uh, king south african youtubers like big south african youtuber who have like uh sixty thousand subscribers hundred thousand subscribers but for what guys like definitely for what mutus wahamba for three months and as I up, up, upload the moment like Imali Pela, that's when she come back and be, like uber consistent. So yeah, one thing about South African YouTubers, they are very lazy child. Like they are very very lazy. I know some of you will say good as in I'm jealous and stuff. But anyway, like da, like why would I be jealous to my very own South African YouTube of which I support daily, like because of. I am proud of Guti as in they're actually doing something for themselves and not uh, like expecting Guti government to, to create jobs for them and stuff. But anyway, guys, that's it for me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe for those who haven't. And please share your own opinion on the comment section telling me how do you feel about this whole situation. Yaga seems right. Stepping out from her comfort zone. But anyway, guys, I love you guys. Bye.